Hey guys, how's it going? Coming at you from the car on this beautiful sunny day. Oh, first of all, welcome to a brand new vlog. There is a lot going on in this vlog. I'm just finishing it up and I just thought actually this should go at the very beginning of this video because it's quite important. But yeah, there's, there's lots coming in this video. I have a really nice, very well-bodied life update to give you at one point because I feel like I've not like chatted with you in a really personal way for a while so I thought that would be really really good to do so that's in here plus also the most beautiful trip to Versailles with Clé de Poe that's coming up as well I wanted to put this in here because I've just come out of a smear test and I wanted to take this time to remind you guys to book in. To be honest, I have put off this smear test for a little while because the last time I went for a smear test, I didn't love the experience. I've had, I've had two smear tests in my life. The first one was perfect, the second one wasn't fab and it was down to the nurse that I had. Um, however, I've just been to the nurse at my local clinic and it was perfect. I was literally in there four minutes four minutes because I text Bryony before I went in being like be right back just smearing and then literally as soon as I was finished was like okay done four minutes for any of you who haven't had a smear test or you're worried it was literally pants off lay down I think they put like a little rounded tube inside of you so that they're able to then get a longer um, like cotton bud inside just to kind of swab the your inside of your cervix to then send that off to a lab. Honestly, didn't feel a thing. I mean, obviously, it's a strange feeling, you know, someone putting something inside you. It's so fine, and for the fact that this is a really important thing to get done, I'm annoyed with myself for putting it off so long. I've been so busy, I just haven't found the time to like book an appointment, and it's so bad of me. So I'm just taking this as my opportunity to say, just to remind you, if you've had a letter through and you need to go for a smear, go book it now, or put a diary reminder right now into your diary to go and book it because it really is so essential and so necessary and I certainly will not be leaving it that long again because I mean I'm praying that my test results are okay but there's so many people that have their test results back and um, they find things that they didn't expect so anyway gonna head home I'm having a makeup free day we've had it's a beautiful sunny day today and so we've walked the dog and we had a gorgeous walk this morning the dog he just loved every minute of it I have been sending a lot of emails today. I'm trying to do a lot of like admin and get lots of things sorted from our new um, Manchester apartment. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm kind of taking a day off of other work and instead doing a little bit on the apartment and getting all that organised. Yeah, and then me and Alex are going to watch a film this afternoon, I think. So we'll head home and I'll get on to that. Still not over the purple seatbelts. <laughs> Love this car. Love it so much. I just love it. Okay, right, off home. The height of fashion. It's Paris, baby. We finished up a really delicious Friday night meal. I made cod in breadcrumbs with broccoli and roasted tomatoes. Um, and then we're just having a little glass of something to finish off the evening. And the whole kitchen is so tidy. It's so tidy. Oh, just the best feeling. It's the best feeling on a Friday night when you're cooking and you've got music on and you're having a glass of wine and you're making a good meal. It's just that, that feeling of like, everything is done. I've had such a productive day today. I don't know how many emails I've sent today for work, admin, finances, oh, everything. So, so much, so I feel I feel like really efficient and like I've done a really good job today and that I deserve to go chill in the lounge. <laughs> Let me bring this through. Bubba, do you want to come through here? So me and Alex are having move night. By the way, how, how relaxed and wonderful do you feel at the moment having like a bit more of a chilled lifestyle? Oh, so good. I'm feeling so just like such a good headspace. We've had such a nice day today. The fact we got to walk the dog in the morning. It's been so nice, hasn't it? It's been so nice. Treating ourselves to movie night now. Now we've finished our, our dinner. So we're gonna watch a brand new Sky Cinema film. So for any of you guys who are new here, every month we like to review a Sky Cinema film. This month we have a really great film to review. It's called A Good Person. I've seen this advertised. I've seen Florence Pugh talking about it on her Instagram. This is a film directed by Zach Braff. It includes 
Florence Pugh and Morgan Freeman. So as soon as I saw it, I was like, that looks like a film I'm gonna, I'm gonna really enjoy. And then the Sky Cinema team said, oh, the, a good person is coming to Sky. And I was like, absolutely perfect timing. So I'm really looking forward to this one. But apparently there are also lots of other really great films hitting Sky Cinema actually this month, including Elvis is gonna be on here for a few days, babe. We've not seen that yet. So for a few days, Elvis is gonna be popping up on Sky. Equally, Bobo, what are you doing? And also for a few days, Matrix is going to be back on Sky um, to celebrate the release of John Wick that we're excited to go watch. John Wick 4 has just come out. Cannot wait for that. In fact, we're going to go have like a little cinema trip, aren't we? But for tonight, we're going to watch A Good Person and I'll let you know what we thought. Let's get our thoughts on camera. It's now half past ten and we've just finished watching A Good Person. And I'm a little bit teary. Wasn't it really? It was great? really good. It was actually really, really, really good. But I mean, yeah. what what film? I mean, the first five seen? minutes, I was like, "This a rom com." Yeah, you no, you said to me, "Is it? Is it a rom com?" Something here. It's not a rom com at <laughs> it's all. Not a rom com. And I knew it wasn't. I, I see. I didn't know much about it, but I knew it wasn't I knew a rom com. I knew nothing about it. But I mean, what film have you seen Morgan Freeman in that's not been brilliant? Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> <laughs> It I was mean, really just, great. And how brilliant is Florence Pugh yeah, as well? Yeah, she's amazing. I only recently saw Florence Pugh in, um, what's it called, the one with Harry Styles in it? Is it that Don't, Don't Worry Darling? You still not watch Midsommar And yet. I thought that was so brilliant. She Absolutely is brilliant. loved that film. I'm desperate for Alex to watch it as well. Maybe, maybe, Which is better? Maybe if it comes up on Sky, we can watch it together. Which is better, that one? Oh, um, the other completely different. Okay. Completely different. It would be hard to say, really. Be completely hard. But it was really good. It, Fantastic I would, I would film. never pick a film like that to you watch. You wouldn't. No, I, it's not my even kind of with, film. Even with that lineup. I'm glad. I'm glad it was. You it was really brilliant. It, it was really brilliant. Mm -hmm. It was so like brilliantly acted, and yeah, great storyline. Yeah, it was really fantastic. What would you give it out of ten? Eight. Yeah, for the kind of film it is. Yeah, yeah 8.5, 8. Eight. something like that. Yeah. It's very good. Which is very good, because only, because 1 to 10 is such a small scale. Yeah, 10 you're is better, like... You're better doing like a 1 to 30 scale, really, to get a feel of like... Because obviously in the scheme of things, like Shawshank Redemption is a 10, and that wasn't Shawshank Redemption, but it was a fantastic film. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's what I mean, Shawshank Redemption is a 10. Like Forrest Gump is a 10. But Shawshank Redemption is like a 10, all around 10. Yeah. Whereas that was, it was good. It had good music. It was good, good. It was nicely yeah, it was, shot. Yeah, it was beautiful Acting was shot. brilliant all the way through. Really acted. Storylines. Oh, I think the storyline was unique as well. I haven't seen a film like that. Look at this guy. No, I bloody loves you. I <laughs> Me and Alex don't look up. I mean, I look absolutely awful. Sorry, I'm having such a no makeup day and loving it. But anyway, the rest of this vlog is going to be it's going to be far more glamorous, I promise. So, on to Paris! <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to a brand new vlog. We did take a week off after Fashion Week. We are back with a fabulous vlog for you this time. I think, I hope, I haven't seen the rest of it yet. We just arrived in Versailles. We're here on a Clé de Pau beauté trip which is really, really exciting. I haven't ever been on a Clé de Pau trip before. It's a big global trip. We're in Versailles. We're going tomorrow to the Trianon Palace. It's like a really amazing place. I cannot wait. We are here though. Uh, we've checked in. We're at the Waldorf Astoria. We've just ordered room service. So we're having a little Caesar salad and a beer apparently. And there's mashed potatoes somewhere underneath here. Yeah, but we're literally here for a really quite a whistle-stop trip with uh, Clay Po, and tomorrow I'm doing some shooting so there's lots more people coming for this trip but they're coming tomorrow however we've come a little bit early as part of my ambassadorship with Clay Po to shoot some content with the director of colour Benjamin it's a really big honour really excited anyway so we've checked in we've ordered a little bit of room service because it's about 8 30 now Oh no, it's quarter to nine. And we're gonna get a bath, get in bed and chill. Um, also, I travelled today without any base makeup on and it feels really nice. I feel like this is like the first day in so long that I've only worn skincare. So I just put loads of clay to post skincare on this morning. A little bit of mascara, a little bit of lips. That's it, just left, left it at that. Oh, by the way, the jumper. 
is my brand new coming soon Holland Cooper collection piece. You might already recognise it. If you've not seen that video already, make sure you go back and see the last video. That is my um, all about my Holland Cooper collection and pretty much what I'm wearing for spring. But this is the gorgeous wool alpaca jumper in the natural biscuit. Styled with this gorgeous pair of white cream trousers. I'm in love with these, they're like a gorgeous thick, they're almost like a denim feel to the thick cotton. Absolutely love them. Um, YSL belt styled up with my beautiful gold and diamond Edge of Ember collection jewellery. These are two of the necklaces of the three. And then in my ears, I've got the hoops as well as the single stud diamond and gold earrings. On this side, I've got the gold studs as well as the hoop. Good morning. I know we're in the same place where we left you last night. However, we are just waiting on a hairstylist to come and do my hair before I get shooting. Um, look of the day. I'm wearing to see black simple top. I'll leave it linked down below, it's just a tank. And then with my brand new Holland Cooper cream trousers. They're just so beautiful. I love the way they drape. With the blazer. And I do also have the knit with me, but I'm going for the full look today. So full look with the blazer. I'll just wear it open. Throw these up a little bit. And then there are my Saint Laurent heels. Just give me a bit of height. Um, but yeah, I mean, just, honestly, I know I keep barking on about it. Isn't it gorgeous? The suit, honestly, it's just the most like perfect everyday casual suit. But then like whatever you, if you put this on with like a bra now and like your know, big heels, a sparkly bag, then it becomes evening. So, I'm in love, I'm in love. Oh. We're just in the Versailles suite. Yeah, Benjamin's going to start with my three different lip looks. The colours yeah, yeah. look unreal. Yeah. I'm excited yeah. to see. So Alex, is, yeah. you can kind of film behind yeah. the scenes as, as we're doing it. Um, yeah. So you'll be able to see some of the lip colours yeah. applied. And then it's going to be made into like Instagram reels for the Clay de Poe channel. So I'm really excited to try these. Hi, I'm Benjamin and I'm here with the beautiful Victoria McGrath. And today we're going to start with these two gorgeous cream rouge shades. And the first one is the number 115 in Cory Line, which is a beautiful kind of grayish red. And we're gonna to top that off with the 201 in Calanthe Orchid, which is a gorgeous, shiny, beige shade. Press your lips together. Perfect. And then you can start working from the outside inward. And feel like one of those dry liquid lipsticks that you put on and you feel like your lips feel like sandpaper. What I really love about this matte formula is that it feels very moisturizing, unlike other liquid lipsticks. It actually feels soft on the lips. How do you think, what do you yeah, think? Yeah, it's really comfortable. Yeah. I didn't expect the texture, but it's really like lightweight. Yeah. Yeah, gorgeous, so comfortable. Yeah. And now we're gonna continue with the 201 in Calant Orchid, which is a beautiful, shiny beige shade. And I'm gonna apply it to the center of the bottom lip to create a more three-dimensional effect. And this formula is very, very creamy and moisturizing lips together again and it gives you that extra kind of voluminous effect and it works very well on top of the matte formula it's kind of like a bit it's a slightly retro color which i love yes it is it's like flamingo peach almost yeah a little the 50s 60s gorgeous. oh gosh the texture is stunning yeah hi i'm benjamin hi i'm victoria and we've just created this beautiful summery peach and gold lip using two shades of cream rouge, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's a gorgeous deep blue base red, which is very like glamorous and perfect for the evening. And don't worry about it being too perfect because at the end, we're gonna blur the edges with a Q-tip. South Korea, they apply it like this. Really? You, know, you have the, the depth of the color on the inner lip, and then they blur it out to the edges. Wow, I've never done this. It looks amazing. Let's blend it out a little bit just to create a softer edge. It's so beautiful. You can also shape the lips a little bit as you're doing that. So yeah. it's a really, really nice technique. It's just a bit more soft focus, yes. isn't it? Yes, it makes a, a red lip less intense yeah. in a way and still very, very beautiful. Yeah, I'm used to always lining my lips, but this looks so pretty. Yeah, yeah it's softer. Oh, I love it. Would you like me to a sense of magic? 
Just get on camera. Did you? Such a catchy tune. I've just slightly changed my hair and put it into a middle parting. It was so big and curly. I felt like this was just a bit more me. And then I've got the beautiful curls now down the back. In fact, let me take a little comb out. Yeah, so the filming was so quick. Um, and like we're slight like hours ahead of time, which is amazing. So we're just gonna go out and take some pictures of my beautiful new Holland Cooper suit. Maybe some as well of my Edgy Bamba gold and diamond jewellery. And then go get a hot chocolate. Ooh. Outfit change. Outfit change. I'm wearing one of my favourite pieces of clothing ever right now. Well in fact two, actually no, probably more than that. I'm so in love with it. I just, I was literally just saying to you, wasn't I, how much I love this Saint Laurent blazer. Like, yeah, it's pricey. And it, you know, that initial shock is like, oh, it's expensive. But the amount of cost per wear I've had now out of this, I am so in love with it. Like the short sleeves, the boxy fit. It just fits like a dream. I love it. But the piece I was actually talking about is this. Oh, that's nice. It's so amazing. I can't stress enough. I realise it's my collection, of course, I'm going to say it's good. But I'm genuinely so obsessed with these roll necks. This, the shoulder pads, giving that silhouette and this beautiful, the, the, the actual neck, the roll of it. Sorry to stress the point, but I just think it's the most fantastic roll neck I've ever worn, genuinely. I'm not saying this, swear on Alex's life. The best roll neck I've ever worn, these are, and they're my collection. I should maybe have put a nude bra underneath, you can just see my black bra under it, but I can't be bothered, so. We'll live. The shoot was absolutely brilliant. We left like three hours to do that shoot, and we only needed like an hour. So Benjamin did three different lip looks, I mean you saw it all. They are so creamy, even like the matte, not drying at all. Super moisturising, really fluffy, velvety, really, really lovely texture. And now, the gals should be here soon. Everyone else is coming for the rest of the trip. Um, and my besties, Josie, Susie, Amelia, and Fleur are all coming on this trip. Plus lots of other ladies too. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited to kind of have all the gals, the gal pals back together. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine if you were like, oh, oh my God, that'd be so fun. <laughs> 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 Room. What's the gossip? Oh my god, you missed so much! Stop it! We're now going to a conference to learn more about the education and research behind all the Clay Depot products. Sushi was delicious, that Poke Bowl was absolutely fantastic. Did you enjoy yours? Yeah, it was good. We've had such a nice little time. We just we, we saw on Google there was a sushi restaurant really near, so we just thought, let's go get some sushi. Really, really good. Really good. The first experience with Clay was a bit over 15 years ago was working for a different brand. We were trying to achieve like the best luxury skincare. And at the time, the benchmark, the absolute benchmark in terms of uh, efficacy and luxury textures was already Clé de Pauvoté. My question with the, um, the second uh, product that you mentioned, if you're already using strong actives in your skincare, is it okay or should you choose one or the other? The clarifying lotion is still, you're still able to use it every single day. Oh, okay. 
Um, it's not because it doesn't have anything that's particularly like AHA or retinol or any of those type of actives. So with all the hydration humectants, it would still help to balance and hydrate the skin as well. So I would say, yes, you can use it, but like anything, if your skin is a little bit more sensitive or prone, mm -hmm. it's best to sort of trial it a little bit before going full in. Look at breathtaking Susie here. Honestly, she took my breath away when she walked in the room. <laughs> Unbelievable. We're just heading over now to the uh, Chateau de Versailles, apparently, which is um, a rather wonderful place to go for dinner. All the ladies look so phenomenal. My bride for the evening, Susie Bernal. so much so this was a little find I found this last week ordered it like immediately and it came just in time for this trip I love I love the style of it oh a bit of light that's nice I love the style of the cutouts it's like a full like super slinky almost like elastane feel so it just it's just super flattering and then put it with my summer on heels and dreams bag for a little bit of sparkle, mulberry earrings again for more sparkle and then just a full face of clay de po. I mean I filmed the whole thing for TikTok so if you want to see like how I did it, it's on there. And we have like a late night private viewing of the Chateau de Versailles. Oh, like I've got the It's absolutely beautiful. The last one's ripped it. Being by the security guard. <laughs> <laughs> the security line you do look a bit shady though. <laughs> like a very long time since I kind of got a little bit more deep and meaningful and actually told you anything that was a little bit more personal. Um, obviously the last few weeks have been busy with fashion week and it's been very fashion orientated content with some lovely beauty orientated content like the start of this video but it feels like a long time since we just kind of sat down and spoke so I thought I'd kind of give you a couple of updates of what's been going on, how we are, how we're feeling and any new things happening in the world. First thing, just realised, looking right at it, we have a new home item. Always makes me happy to be able to show you new new things for the house. Actually, this, this house now is almost like complete. We're wanting to change up two rooms in this house, actually. Obviously, the more that you live in a house, the more that you realise what you need certain rooms for and whether the plans that you had for particular rooms have been the right choices. And so I think there are two rooms we're going to swap around soon. I think that's literally going to be that Alex is going to move his TV and his Xbox up to our top floor bedroom. 
and make that his like den when he has his guys over. They can have beers up there or whatever and play their games, whatever, whatever young men do. I'll say young <laughs> and be nicer. Therefore, change the room that Alex uses as his like Xbox room into an office. I know that will be the third office space in this house and it seems crazy, but it's just because we've realized. I would also like an office space and at the moment we don't really have that. We have like an office of sorts inside of another bedroom because we thought that would work. And actually that's where Alex works and I have no place to work. Therefore I sit here and I sit and I work and I do everything from here and it's not good for my back and it's not good for productivity and it means that where I work for the day I then come and sit for dinner or I sit to have a coffee and therefore there's no difference between where I'm working and where I'm relaxing and that isn't good for my mental health, I don't think, or for my work-life balance. Therefore, I have lots of really lovely ideas though, I'm going to turn this room into a really lovely um, secluded intimate office space for me and Alex. Loads of room for us both to have our own desk space, plus it means I can then put everything that's office related into that room. Think the boring things like the printer or the shredder that have no other place to go in the house. They can therefore go in there, etc. So I'm going to organise that soon, so that's kind of like one house update. That's the one thing we need to do. Today I'm in such a fabulous mood though, the sun is out. As you can see, I mean it's burning out all this backdrop, but the sun is out. We've just been walking around the garden, everything's starting to bud, like our rose bushes are starting to bud, little tiny buds. Even there's even a peony bush that I planted that was literally a stick, and that's got little buds coming off it, so that's exciting. And my gardener has planted up all the new veg, so that should hopefully be sprouting in the next few weeks and months. Seeing the garden start to come to life again, a really kind of uplifting feeling. We're coming out of winter and we're coming into a wonderful spring summer again because last summer the garden was phenomenal. And every morning I'd walk out there in my bare feet with my coffee and I'd look at all the plants, see how they were doing and it was just like my morning ritual and I really missed that. So yeah, that's put me in a really good mood today. I've just finished up a piece of work. I am doing a giveaway with flannels and it's an amazing giveaway. I haven't done a giveaway in a really long time because I really wanted to stop doing as many giveaways. But this one was just too good not to do. It's a flannels gift box of beauty products worth £500 some insane things in there. Natasha Denona, Augustinus Barda, Patrick Tarr, Victor and Rolf, Valentino, Nas, Charlotte Tilbury, Lancome. There's just some amazing things in there. So yeah, have a little look. I think that's, oh, it might be coming soon. I don't know if it's gonna be out by now, but we'll see. One other home thing before I forget to show you, we have a new fridge. We have a gorgeous new fridge. We used to have a smeg fridge here. Black, a black smeg fridge, let me show you. We used to have a different black fridge here. However, we just had some issues with it in the end. Um, the ice machine broke on it and the water dispenser wasn't working properly. We had a few little bumps and nicks on the edges of the fridge. And so I thought after having it, we had it for like three years and a bit, I thought, you know what? I thought it would be nice to get a brand new fridge that worked exactly how I wanted it to. And honestly, I can't describe how much better this fridge is. We're so thrilled to bits. So it's by a brand called Fisher and Paykel, or Pie Paykel. Fisher and Paykel, sorry if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. It's exactly what we needed in this space. Um, let me show you how, how great this is. Now, it's not very full. We've just come back from Paris. It's, food is obliterated. There is no food in this. But let me, let me pull you around this way a little bit. So, so check this out. Double fridge door. Ooh la la. Check that out. Before we had like it open, it was freezer one side, it was fridge one side. Whereas this one is full double fridge. We were thrilled to bits of it. I mean, look, so it's got these two uh, drawers down here at the bottom that pull out for like flatter veg. So it's super easy and super quick to find things. And then it's got this section which is for fruit and for veg and you can adjust the cooling temperature accordingly. So this one we have it on the veg setting and this one we have it on the fruit setting. So again, it keeps everything really compartmentalised which makes me so happy. And it also comes with these cute little stands. I don't know if you can see it from that side but it comes with little stands that mean you can lay your wine bottles or gin bottles, whatever, 
down like that and you can have everything laid out um, that way. I also have a number of these, I just got these on Amazon, but they're just handy to have for, again, compartmentalising everything into sections. Like I said, it's got nothing in here right now. But then, one other thing I really love about it, it's got in these side sections, you can move this along. So if you wanted to have like a beer here, and then something bigger here, oh, it's telling me it's been open too long. You know, so you can kind of separate things, so I really love that. So much space up here, this is, I'm having this as like the cheese section if we ever have cheese in. So that goes in there. It's just so chic. It's got loads of different settings. Let me try and show you with this big dog camera. Like yeah, like loads of different settings along the side. And yeah, it's huge. So much space in here. It just, it's just really, really great. This here is a water dispenser. And the thing I love about it is it's super, it's super quick and responsive. And it doesn't seem like very much. The last fridge we had, it was really quite slow and quite doddery and it would take a few seconds before the water would go and then water would go all over it. It was like a, a larger plate, so it went back further. It was a larger plate, which always got like a lime scale on it, which we always hated. And our last one had an ice machine in it, which from the start wasn't that great. So anyway, down here, so that just does water, that dispenser. Down here is a freezer, and instead, it's one of these pull-out freezers, like this. And you have a huge bin here, but then this pulls out, and you have a secondary shelf section with, like, um, storage space. And then there's ice. Check this out. It's a full ice bucket. This is amazing. I can't tell you how amazing. And it comes comes with a little spatula. So that is our ideal situation. <laughs> then we've got like the coffee, our origin coffee, all of my smoothie stuff. Crush that back. You've got this enormous space then for, look at my fish fingers. Why it, why are fish fingers? Eight pound a box, by the way. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, and I'm also gonna get some separators as well for in here. So yeah, so that's a tour of the new fridge. Uh, sorry, I don't think you ex probably expected that in this video. But genuinely, we're so thrilled with this. You'll be thrilled to know that our last fridge, I gave it to my best mate, Charlie, and they absolutely love it. For that, they've got like a big country style kitchen and it looks absolutely amazing. So it's gone to, it's gone to a good home. But we're just really thrilled to bits with this. Um, it just, it goes beautifully here. What I'm thinking of doing is getting back in touch with uh, Kerr Kitchens. C-O-E-U-R, Kerr Kitchens, is um, our, we're the designers of our kitchen. I'm thinking of getting back in touch with them to get them to create a piece of wood that comes up here, goes across the top and comes down the side, so that this looks almost like it's integrated, because at the moment it's just got a little gap, which is fine, and we'll get used to it, but I think it'd be kind of nice to have a proper piece, like a, um, a full like N bar around the edge, but we'll see. I'll leave all the deets down below for it, only because I know that you guys, when we got the last black Smeg fridge, a lot of you were interested because there aren't many black matte fridges on the market. And the thing I really love about this one is that there's no other metal on it. Apart from maybe this kind of, you know, gun metal of this. But everything else, there's no colour. So if you've got chrome features or if you've got brass features, it just blends in. But we just love having this big black American freezer. So thrilled to bits with that. Anyway, so yeah, so that's, that's house updates. The Manchester apartment. That's all going swimmingly, actually, and oh, can't wait to show you it. So I've been working with our interior design team. They're called Joe Lee, they're based up in Manchester, but they also have a, a London office as well. We have been working together on that. They've come up with like a full catalogue of the different furniture that they foresee this apartment having. And we've been going through that together and I've been like, love this, love this, maybe let's change this, love this, love this. So it's been a really lovely experience actually working with them. They're so patient, they have so many fantastic ideas, they've come up with like paint colours, they have gone to rug manufacturers and blinds and curtain manufacturers and they're working on all the different fabrics and how it all works together. I think it's going to be amazing. Yeah, thrilled to bits on that. So I'll show you that when it more and more happens. Let's get a bit more deep and meaningful and personal. Personally, um, I've been really ill for weeks. And today is the first day that I'm actually feeling a lot better. I still have a runny nose and I'm starting to blow my nose, but not so much as I did. Thank goodness. Um, I had a really bad cold flu thing for for weeks. So we did that a few weeks ago, I went to Manchester because I really wanted to see the team and in hindsight I was far too ill to go really and Alex almost had to carry me back to the car 
after that because I was so depleted of any energy left. I could barely walk up the stairs at the train station. I was like nearly passing out. But luckily, far, far better now, thankfully. Feeling really good today. Also on a personal note, you know, Fashion Month is always a real toll on a person, but also for those who have a relationship and work together over Fashion Month, it's difficult and I'm not gonna lie to you when I say that it's been, a, it's been tough on our relationship. It really is hard working with your spouse and whilst it, obviously there are incredible benefits and it's wonderful to always be together you know there are always going to be little drawbacks when it comes to working with your partner and it was so exhausting and there was so much work to do and to edit and to film and to and to finish and send off to clients or to post and it was just a lot and those vlogs that we put out really didn't show any of that side of it you know the arguments the upsets, the discussions, there's a lot that you don't see in those vlogs. It all looks very fine and dandy and, and fun and everything, and, and it is, but you don't see in between those times we're just on laptops or I'm on my phone editing, cutting, posting, commenting back, DMing everyone back, liaising with different teams for the next fitting, for the shows, for the cars, for the hairdressers, for everything. And it's, it sounds so glamorous and it is wonderful. And you know, I'm so grateful, so grateful of the opportunities. But it, just to mention, like it really is a lot of work behind the scenes. Yeah, it takes its toll on our relationship massively every single season, but this one especially because it was our busiest fashion week, fashion month yet. We absolutely worked our asses off and we got some incredible opportunities that we didn't want to say no to. I mean, don't get me wrong, we said no to actually a lot of shows and a lot of opportunities because I didn't want to burn out and I don't know how I didn't. I mean, I practically did by getting ill, but it was just a lot. But after many discussions and chats and thoughts about how to kind of get back on the right foot again, oh, yeah, things are, things are amazing now. So thank, thankfully we've made it through again. But um, yeah, in honesty, I'm gonna have to make big changes for next season, big, big changes. We can't go through that again, <laughs> or else we're not gonna have a marriage left, I'll be honest. Yeah, it's hard work on a marriage, that's for sure. I don't know if any of you guys work with your partner on your businesses or just happen to work together in the same establishment or whatever, but um, I'd almost love to hear any of your discussions on it. How do you find it working with a partner? Do you have any tips of how <laughs> you can separate your work and life balance because if a lot of you work together, I, I bet you find yourself chatting about it at night over dinner or over coffees in the morning at 7am, like about what you're going to do that day. And it's not really healthy for a good relationship. So I'd kind of love to hear your thoughts on it and how you cope with it. For anyone else that wants to, to know and also for, for, my, for me to learn to. Oh, however, one amazing thing is that we do now have a new employee. Um, my very, very good friend Rob has joined the team. So Rob is called Robert but his nickname is Butch. He's known as Butch for all of his friends, for many reasons, which I won't go into, but his, his nickname is Butch, and so he's just known as that. That's like his first name now, practically. I think even, I think even his wife calls him Butch sometimes, so <laughs> I have my own nickname for him that I call him that no one else calls him, which you may hear me saying now and again, but that's just my nickname for him, but everyone else calls him Butch. So if we ever talk about Butch, his real name isn't Butch, it's Rob. Butch has joined the team, and I can't tell you what a relief it is for me and my mental health. I was doing a lot. Ever since, ever since COVID and lockdown, I would edit all of my own reels. Any reels that I shot up in my wardrobe or any TikToks, I would edit every single one because it would be, in my mind, it was easier for me just to do it on my phone and to take my nights doing that and uploading them than it was to give them to Alex to edit. I decided that I needed someone to kind of take the reins and just to be another editor. So but just joined the team as our secondary editor, which is amazing and honestly, the weight load off me and the time load is amazing. Like I've got my nights back again, which means that I've also got my relationship back again. So it's a huge plus for me and for the team. And he's just such an incredible person, a positive energy, a team player, a just a fantastic person to have around. He's also been a really, really, really close friend of mine since um, I was 18. Yeah, so 15 years. We've known each other, we've been really, really good friends. And I'm also extremely good friends with his wife. In fact, we have a very exciting gig to go to soon. We're going to a pink concert together. We're all very, very 
close friends, which is amazing. So my team has grown a little bit and I'm very, very excited about it. In other news though, uh, I'm just trying to think. Work is ticking along wonderfully. I'm working on some fantastic projects this year. I feel so grateful, so honored to be able to work with the brands that I do. I'm just putting my energy into creating like quality content, but also I do have a lot of channels now. You know, I have my TikToks. I'm just Victoria McGrath on TikTok if you don't already follow me. That's where I put all of my get ready with me, like talking to camera, getting ready every single day or whenever I'm going to an event. So that's the most personality side of me that you see is also on TikTok. But I also post those on shorts. So I have shorts, I have TikToks. We're still blogging, so I still have in the fro.com for the blog if you like short form blog posts, well, long form blog posts, I suppose. And that's where we're gonna be putting a lot more kind of fashion inspiration and tips. Then obviously I've got Instagram, at Victoria, Fro Home, where I'll put all of my home updates. Yeah, I think that's all of them. So there's a lot of different channels to go around if you're not following me somewhere else. So this has been such a long chat now, so it's been half an hour. Yeah, work is, work is going really well. We're so excited about the apartment. This house is almost finished. The dog is healthy and well. My family is healthy and well, and you know, that's, uh, that's the main thing. So, um, plus we're also working on lots of other things as well behind the scenes, which are all really exciting. So yeah, lots going on really right now, it's a lot. That's the update, that's the catch up of how things are. Behind the scenes, the stuff that maybe you don't see when I'm, you know, being all jolly on TikTok and on here. Honestly, the water out this, out of this fridge because it's got a brand new filter in it and it's all lovely filtered water it just tastes so good i am going to you know what i'll probably cut here actually because i feel like this is going to be far too long with the rest of the clay de po footage and i might start my next vlog on sunday because we're going to soho farmhouse i've booked me and alex in for a little staycation a one night stop over at soho farmhouse so i'll probably show that in the next vlog and then whatever we're doing that week too because it's gonna be a busy week but yeah me and alex just need a little time away i'm trying to book us a holiday as well i've got about 20 people in my ear like book a holiday book a holiday like go have some time together away from work so i'm trying to do that Oh my gosh, one last thing, one last thing. Sorry, I've completely forgotten. And it relates to what I'm currently wearing. So far, you guys have been loving my new Holland Cooper collection. Like I was reading through the comments on the latest video. If you've not seen it already, go along. I'll put a little thing up on the screen here for you. Or it might be that side. I'll put up a little icon for you to go and have a look at that video. So I'm bringing out a 13 piece collection with Holland Cooper all of my design ideas. It's a real capsule wardrobe for spring. And I think you guys are gonna love it. In fact, I know you're gonna love it because so far the comments have been absolutely out of this world. Like the feeling on it is even more hyped than the previous collections, which you all really loved. But I think so many of you are really in love with the pieces of this collection because it's so wearable and it's super versatile and it all goes together. Um, this is one of the pieces. This is the black cashmere roll neck with the structured shoulders. I mean, it's, it's super subtle, um, but it just gives us a little bit extra shape. It's just a little bit more fashionable than just a regular cashmere that follows your usual body shape. I just really love this style. And the lovely long neck on this, I'm absolutely in love with it. And you guys seem to be too, because the sign-ups for the roll necks have been incredible. So many of you have signed up so far. So how it works is we are dropping a collection next month, but what we wanna do is collect numbers of how many of you want a certain size and a certain piece so that we don't over make sizes and certain items that won't sell as easily and therefore we don't want to be left with stock it's just a much more sustainable way of understanding which pieces you would like and to what volume so that's why we're doing that so all you have to do is go onto the, the website help find the piece that you like put in the size that you'd like and your email and it will sign you up and then as soon as everything comes up for sale you'll be emailed about it but also we'll be able to then collect numbers of how many of you want this in extra small small medium large extra large, whatever so it's really handy for us so i'm absolutely over the moon with how many of you love the roll necks you've been loving the v-necks you've been adoring the suit the dresses i mean it seems that you guys are absolutely loving every single piece so thank you Thank you so much, honestly, I'm just over the moon with how, um, how you guys feel about it. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it at this. Have a peek at that video. If my flannels giveaway is already up, I will leave a link down below, but it'll just be on the flannels Instagram, flannels beauty Instagram page. So go along to there. Yeah, I'd love to hear your discussion. If you got this far as well, um, leave me a little sunshine emoji 
because I love it when you guys do that. But thank you so much for getting this far, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye! <laughs>